So okay, sorry for the trouble, man. I am not sure what happened. So we copy the adapters, open interface adapter as many as you want. Then you can create your own set of, uh, mean like uh, column names. See, this is one adapter which may have different columns, and this is another adapter which may have separate column names. But all of the all, these are all comes under others source system. Let us say. Here, column one, as I said in previous, we had given, but it's gonna guess account. If you want to give this one as entity or column three as geography. Okay, these are the way that you can define the column names. By defining the column names, while another step is there, import format. As I said in previous, we need to define the import format. While defining the import formats, we can understand, or user can understand, or developer can easily understand what column it is that I need to map to the target system dimensions. That's what we are giving the display name of the columns. So, which we are seeing in the database, those are in the database will be represented in the column one, column two, column three. Whereas from the front end application, if you want to represent the column names, we are giving some, I mean, uh, valuable uh, naming convention okay so by seeing this one we can understand the system we can't save this one so likewise you can create as many as adapters if you want to go with that fine then next step is source uh, source system right go to the source system i am creating one new uh, source system registration with format is open interface click on add go to erp open int erp open int and there itself you can use your source system type is what is the source system type here that we need to go for open interface others right where it is resided others go others and here itself we need to give the Code context. Code context. What is the said yesterday? Global. Global is the code context, and you can save this one. So this is fine. But where you can find the many other so system, we can have multiple adapters are there, right? We copied another one. Likewise, we can copy as many as required. But what is the exact uh, adapter that I need to use for my input format? that will be defined in import format only I, we haven't moved up to here just i am giving the information over here that's it just giving the information so here what is the source system that we created erp open interface that we created the adapt now source system this is nothing but others others what is the what are the source adapter it is having it is having two adapters it is having right one is open interface adapter that is default one which came directly from the system mean like installation another one is just we copied into another one so which one you want to take it up you can take likewise if you can take uh, four or five adapters you can pick one among them by taking the so system type clear so we'll see this one later on I mean just I am giving the interrelated information how you need to start the open interface and where we need to check the interface information that's what I am saying but so system that you need to create for others others is nothing but open interface itself only clear is there any questions here I mean open interface adapter now we can move on to the import formats. So registering the target application that we have seen yesterday, if you remember, I mean like uh, just uh, we'll give overview on it again. 
target application once you registered this is one time activity only once one application we can register at once only and here the point the main thing is uh, you need to check the dimensions which are having in your hf application or sbs application and classes these are the column names in the back end database table and you need to put on the concentrate on the importance of sequence if there is any custom dimensions which you created under this uh, uh, dimension details which are not available in your hf application but you created some of the dimensions here for the purpose of lookups for the purpose of lookups that you created here it will be created here itself only based on the sequence if there is any dependency one dimension mappings completed next another dimension will be triggered that is the sequence that you want to follow you can give the sequential order also over there once you provided from here you can provide your application options also these are the application options application options in the sense so mean what is the check intersection and load and line item details these are all about your hfm properties in this you need to look at important one is what is the method of data load whether replace merge accumulate these are the hfm application options while loading the data right so this is the one enable data load yes otherwise if you are not enabled to data load it is not allowing data load again load process whether it is load or scan scan means it's just scanning the data it, sub, it doesn't supposed to load the data you know this accumulate within file these are all hfm options not in fdme options if you are familiar of about hfm then we need we can understand all of them accumulate in file I mean the data same line item details will come into hf application for two line items or three line items if you go for replace or match what will be happen the last line of the data will be loaded into hf application but my requirement is if the system if the file or if the source is having two or three or four line items then it has to be accumulated the data within file then it has to load the application then if you can keep it as yes then it will be accumulated the data within the application within the file or within the source system then load to the target system likewise you can have all the options in a hfm application consolidations and uh, journals and protection and everything will be value dimension everything from hf application likewise if this is HF application, you are having all the HF application. If it is the SBS application, you will have all the you will have you will have all the information about your uh, SBS options only. So these are the options that you need to uh, maintain while registering the target application. Normally, we never do anything. Defaultly, some of the options will come. If any changes are required, you can do the modifications. Clear? So this is target application. Fine. Your source systems are ready and your target application is ready. Right? So another part is there. What is that is you can create the ERP integration directly. Another source system registration is there right? that I said that is directly integrating with your source systems but we don't have any source systems here itself just let us take to check that values how it is going to happen that step that i need to give the information with odi how to create a setup for erp system so if the source system is erp so what i have to go is take is 11 i that is global you say you did your erp system registration type is source that is fine here but how the system can recognize in the back end i mean what data it has to pull into the fdme application right so I mean like while taking the file as source you are giving some file information you may have some file information and you are seeing by seeing that one you can tell this is the information that i have 
but when you go for the open interface open interface itself is having the columns and you can able to see the data over there fine but when you go for the erp is there any structure over there that i need to identify file itself it is having the file information that i can see the structure open interface the columns are there and i can see the columns and see the understand the structure but what about erp erp simply you can give itself over in a, as a source but how can you understand and where you can pull the data so prior to I mean before adding to the source system we need to have one more step in odi one more step is required in odi when you go for erp integration when you do for erp integration you need to perform one more activity in odi what is it is go to technology go to topologies and go to technologies oracle and here what you have to create is you need to create the new data server new data server is nothing but here oracle technology your erp systems erp where it is going to store the data in the back end one database itself only right one schema one schema it is having all the information in your source system then what information you can provide here you need to give the schema name username is nothing but schema name you need to give any schema name over there say for example if i am giving some fdme or so just i am feeling like the, i am just taking this is as a erp system so you need to provide the username about your erp systems details then only your uh, source registration will be getting succeed otherwise it will not get succeed because of the first step before you create the source system as erp you need to create one data server which is having uh, with the respect to schema okay so that is another point that you need to remember while integrating with erp systems okay once you created the source system as erp you need to bring or you need to pull the data directly with the uh, source system only in between we don't have any file formats or any open interface format uh, open interface formats are not required because of you are directly integrating with your source system so directly pull the data from source system only in between we don't have any other third party open interface adapter staging tables or any file formats are not required so how i can achieve that one by going to source accounting entity so here itself you can find the source system as 11i and you can see your registration registered information of source system so but here itself we don't have any information that's what we are not able to see here itself once you registered with your source system of erp system then you can find here itself accounting entities these are our accounting entities and chart of accounts these accounting entities are nothing but books I mean chart of books these are all ledger books i can say accounting entities are all nothing but ledger books so you can pick like uh, you can have us book uk book india book australia book and likewise so each book is nothing but one gl each book is nothing but one general ledger from that current from that entity from that entity in the sense from that location so you can bring that one location and give the details directly it will be interacting with your source system and pull the data from that location okay i will show you this one at the end of the session by using the slides itself only because of we don't have any erp system in my mission I mean because of it it is required again uh, like um, no, more ram and more hard disk also so that's what we didn't install in our uh, mission so i will show you how we can pick the data by using the slides i can explain I mean because of it's like uh, three to four steps are required to pull the data from these accounting entities thereafter we have uh, five steps are there
how what are the parameters what are the parameters that we need to pass to bring them into fdme but up to here the steps are required when you go for the source system the first step is you need to get the respective schema details for the erp systems and go to odi and create the data server for that uh, respective uh, erp system and come back and thereafter once you go and do the source system registration once you do that one you can have to come uh, source accounting entity and select the erp system and select the source system type also as well thereafter it will be giving total chart of accounts chart of books information to you so you can pick one by one and import into fdme application the next steps we'll see at the end of the session I mean like by using the slides i will show you clearly the next step when you go for the direct integration with so system another point here that you need to remember is drill through option that i am saying right drill through option directly navigating to the source system will be applied when you integrate the source system with erp system that means if you go in hf application and do the drill through it's directly navigating to the general ledger as well as sub ledger in the erp system if you go for the open interface it up to navigating to the open interface level only it's, it will not navigating to the erp system if you go for the file it will be uh rollbacks to up to a file system only right so when you go for this erp systems it will be navigating to it's your previous level like uh, yeah i mean general ledger as well as sub ledger level okay clear so that is uh, belongs to total EA, your source systems everything I mean like if it is file open interface or erp systems by using the source systems so we covered up to here next one is next step is you registered your source systems and target applications and everything is fine next step is you need to create locations and formats import formats okay that we can see in the next session because of today i mean i have to take another uh, topics over there i mean now uh, for other guys so sorry for the inconvenience which is caused by now uh, like uh, 10 to 15 minutes uh, we lost the time so